Immorality is a wound that hardly heals. Perpetrators hardly recovers. Its cleansing is very hard. So reject, forget, forsake, denounce and avoid it. God is love. But anyone who does not love does not know God. But anyone who loves is a child of God. Hi, I'm Just Promise. Welcome to the Achievers TV. Today we'll be discussing on love. Love is a sacrifice. It means suffering for others to be joyful and satisfied. Love can be defined as the act of showing concern for something or someone. God first showed what a greater love is, that someone should give up his life for his friends. Love is not all about what you gain, but what you lose for the sake of Christ and humanity. Love is strong, deep affection for someone or something selflessly without condition, but because of God. Love does not keep record of wrongs. It is of prime importance to know that God loves us and commanded us to reciprocate by not only loving him, but extend it to all mortals, both enemies and friends. There are different types of love, such as filial love, eros love, agape love, romantic love, etc. Filial love is the love we extend, give and show to our parents, brothers, sisters, sons, daughters and relations. Romantic love is the love that leads us to numerous affairs and sins. It is this love that has deceived and confused us into believing that St. Valentine's Feast is an opportunity which sanctioned and supported us to indulge in fornication and adultery. Love is patience and kind. It is not jealousy or conceited or proud. Love does not keep record of wrongs. St. Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, from verse 3 to 7, rightly asserted that if I may give away everything I have and also give away my body to be burnt, but if I have no love, this does me no good. It is of prime importance to know that God died for us and we also ought to die for our brothers our relations, our friends, our wives, our husbands, in order to reciprocate that love, the true and only supported love, agreed by the church, God and all moralists, is agape love, which is the ultimate love that will lead us to a life of holiness and righteousness. We must strive at all times to give love, show love, breathe love, breathe love, share love, and be on love just as Jesus Christ did, without anticipated reward and appreciation. If this is how God loves us, we should also reciprocate this by also loving one another. Love, God has taught us what love is all about. It is all about sacrifice and suffering, discomforting ourselves in order to comfort others, leading people to God and good life.